Hey guys, Maria here, and today I'm coming at you with a daytime fall tutorial. And I'm actually doing this as a collab with Courtney K. I'll leave a link to her channel and her video down below. You can head over there to see a more evening time appropriate look for fall. But let's go ahead and get started. Um, I'm just going to show you what I've been doing lately. It's totally appropriate for work, but it is more like fall kind of colors. So right now I have a clean face. I've put on moisturizer, but I have no makeup on. As you can see, I do have a little bit of stuff that needs covered, but in general, not too bad. Um, I always start with my Urban Decay Primer Potion. I also like to take this underneath my eyes just because I feel like it helps my concealer last all day and not crease and it also helps any liner or shadow that I bring down there to stay longer. Today I'm using an e.l.f. foundation. This is their mineral foundation and I'm in the shade porcelain and I'm just going to use my buffing brush from Real Techniques with that. The coverage on that is fairly light, uh, so I am going to take my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. This is in the shade number 15 Fair, and go back over any spots that I really want to make sure are covered. And I just like to use the Expert Face Brush from e.l.f. To conceal under my eyes, I'm using the Bare Minerals Concealer in Bisque. This is just a powder concealer, and I like to use the Deluxe Crease Brush from Real Techniques. I feel like that does a pretty good job of brightening up under my eyes. I'm also just going to kind of set that powder really well with, uh, this is Tarte Smooth Operator, it's just a translucent type powder, and I do that with my e.l.f. Mineral Powder Brush. Um, I'm going to set my whole face now using the Bare Minerals Mineral Veil. This is just the original formula, and I usually take the blush brush from Real Techniques to do that. And I focus this mainly in my T-zone. But I do take it across my whole face. But most of the product I want to get in my T-zone. I know you can still kind of see that spot, but to be honest, I don't really care that much. Go ahead and do my contour and my blush. I'm going to use Hula's Benefit. Benefits Hula Bronzer to contour and then Bo Bella Bomba blush from Benefit as well. For the contour, I use the contour brush from Real Techniques. I think it does a good job. I'm just going to get some product on there, but I'm pretty fair, so I try to shake off any extra product because if I get too much, then I start to look a little bit crazy. <laughs> so I'm just finding an area just right directly under my cheekbones, not too far down, and I'm just taking really small strokes in the same direction, and using the same direction is going to help you to not look too muddy. I know it looks kind of crazy right now, but I'm going to come back in and blend that out. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. And then I'm going to take the same brush I used the uh, Bare Minerals Mineral Veil on, and I'm just going to really kind of buff that in and blend it out so it looks a lot more natural, and it's going to look much better this way. You can see that looks way better. Mm. 
Yes, much better. All right, then I'm gonna grab the, this is a blush brush from Tarte. I'm just gonna get some product on there. Again, I'm using Bella Bomba from Benefit. And I'm going to blend that just a little bit so that everything looks cohesive and I don't have any crazy lines. I like to do my brows first because that helps me keep from getting too carried away with the eyes and then doing the brows and then it just doesn't look right together. So I'm going to start by just kind of combing through them with an old mascara wand that I've cleaned off. And then using my MAC 208. And this is just a kind of ashy brown powder from NYX from their brow powders. I've just depotted it into a Z palette. I'm just going to kind of lightly fill in my brows. My brows don't need a lot of filling in, but the ends are kind of sparse, so I like to kind of help them out a little bit there. I'm pretty happy with that. Easy enough. I'm just going to set these with some gel because my brows are kind of long and unruly. This is Anastasia's just clear brow gel. It does a really nice job. All right, now it's time for the actual eyes. <laughs> I'm going to start with the color tattoo from Maybelline in Barely Beige. And I'm just grabbing, this is the brush. I believe this came with the original Naked palette. And I think it does a pretty good job with cream shadows. Okay, today we're going to be only using two shadows for this look. They're both from NYX, and you can buy these at Ulta, really affordable. One is in their old formula, and this is just charcoal brown. And then this is in their new formula for their hot singles, and this is over the taupe. And I actually bought both of these to use as eyebrow um, powders, <laughs> and they do a good job of that, but I really like them as shadows too, so... I am going to start, this is just an old, just a basic eyeshadow brush from e.l.f. I think it cost a buck. And I'm going to take over the taupe and it's going to go all the way across my lid. Okay. And if it gets a little messy, not a big deal. Just take one of your powder brushes and kind of clean as you go. And then I'm actually going to take, this is just a blending brush. It doesn't have any shadow on it. And I'm just going to blend out the edge so that it's not so harsh looking. So it looks much better. All right, now taking the NYX Charcoal Brown. And I'm using a shading brush from Real Techniques to do this, but I'm just going to pick up some of the product on that. And starting kind of on the outer third up in the crease, I'm just going to start depositing a little bit of that into the outer V. I don't want to take it too far over because this is a day look. Um, I'm going to add just a little bit of smoke and definition to the eye, but this is something I would want to be able to wear to office and to work. So I don't want to go too crazy. And I'm actually going to come back in with that blending brush and blend it out. And I'm going to do that one more time, just kind of building the color up slowly so it doesn't look crazy. Um, that's going to help it look a lot more 
smooth of a transition. And then again, blend, blend, blend. <laughs> That's going to be the key to making this look really nice and still really professional. I'm pretty happy with the look of that. Now it's time to add some liner. I'm going to keep the liner pretty, uh, like... I'm going to make the line pretty small, not too thick. I guess thin is a better word for that. And I'm just using Black Track Fluid Line from MAC. You can use gel liner like I am. You can use whatever kind of liner that you have. Um, I prefer a black liner, but if you like brown, that's fine. And I think I forgot to tell you guys, I'm using just the Pixel Point eyeliner brush that comes in the core set from Real Techniques. Okay, I'm just going to again clean up any shadow that might have fallen around under my eyes there. And that's good. Now all we need to do is add a little bit of mascara. I'm going to use Urban Decay's Perversion Mascara. I really like this. This is just a deluxe sample size, but I've only been using it a few, like for maybe a week or so, but it has a really, really great formula. This is what the brush looks like. And then for my lower lashes, as usual, I'm going to use my Maybelline Lash Discovery. It's just a little wand mascara, really tiny wand. It's good for under, for your lower lashes. So, the last thing we need to do is do something with our lips. Uh, since we did a little bit of a darker, smokier eye, I would like to keep it a more neutral kind of nude lip, especially if you're going to work or to class. So I'm just going to use my Revlon Just Kissable Balm Stain and Precious. It does um, stain the lips a little bit of a pinky color, but it's still really neutral. And that's it. That's the look. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed. I also hope you will go check out Courtney's video. Again, I'm going to leave that linked below. Go show her some love. She has a really great channel. She also does project pan type videos. So uh, yeah, definitely go over and let her know that you came from here. I will see you guys later and I hope you have a great rest of the week. Let me know if you try this. Bye.